I've already prepared the drawing on paper, so let's start tracing it. I'm using carbon transfer paper. I put it on the bag, and above it I put my piece of paper with the drawing that I made. Then I simply trace the drawing with the pen. And then voila, the drawing is on the bag. Also we will need some office clips, textile acrylic paints, some synthetic brushes, water, palette, and some sort of rug to clean the brushes during the process of painting. So let's unpack the paints and pick the colors that we're gonna need. I've picked six basic colors and I'm gonna get the rest of the colors by mixing them. Textile paint can be easily mixed like the rest of the paints. We'll start with the background. I mixed blue with white. The first layer of paint is always difficult when painting on fabric, especially in my case because my tote bag has a lot of texture and I actually have to make an effort to put the paint on it. The fabric simply doesn't get covered with the first stroke. You have to actually make an effort. And denim is even worse. Once I tried to paint jeans and it was horrible. One of the most important features of textile paint is that it dries up so quickly, so you actually have to hurry up to paint because it can simply dry on your palette. As for the rest of the things, I would say that textile paint is so similar to gouache. During the process you can wash your brush with water and also help yourself a little bit with a rug to clean the brush properly. Although I have a special palette for textile paints because once I wasn't attentive enough and I left my paint on the plastic palette and so it got stuck and I have no idea how to get rid of it. But whatever, it's fine. By the way, it's totally fine to mix textile paints with water, but I personally prefer not to do it because I like thick layers of paint. But maybe that's why I'm having rough times with putting it onto fabric. So maybe next time I'm gonna try and dilute textile paints with water. Obviously the most challenging part of this whole painting was to paint the peaches and to make them look like peaches and not oranges, even though my little nephew still says that these are oranges. I actually really enjoyed making this little painting. Those vibrant colors, the brightness of the sunshine, everything made me feel so good and so relaxed and I really 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 want summer already. <laughs> and what makes this bag and this little painting even more special to me is that it's a gift for my bestie. After I put the last strokes of paint, I let it dry for 12 hours, so it was one night and a little bit more. And the last and very very important step is to heat the painting by ironing it. And be careful not to do it directly, but through some fabric. And we're done! So let's roll it and put it into the bag with the rest of the gifts.